In this edition of Net News, we will be investigating CSI rye spreading perennial ryegrass. Our investigation will uncover the truth about CSI and answer questions such as, does CSI rye really spread? How long does it take to see tillering? What advantages can this give me? As you can see, these plots were dug up in mid-August in Post Falls, Idaho. We wanted to get to the bottom of the tiller mystery. The plots were originally planted in September at a seeding rate of 3 pounds per thousand square feet. The plot on the left is a competitor's recuperative rye, and the two on the right are CSI. CSI will start to express its creeping characteristics following vernalization, which occurs during short days and cool temperatures. In some climates, this can mean as quickly as five to six months, whereas in others, it may take up to a year. Sure enough, once the roots were washed, we could see reproductive tillers. The advantage of these reproductive tillers is that it allows CSI rye the ability to repair damaged turf quickly. Conventional perennial ryegrasses do not have this ability. And, best of all, turf quality was not sacrificed to get this enhancement. Like some elite perennial ryegrass varieties, CSI has a lower growing height. Here it's shown compared to other ryegrasses marketed as recuperative. With several inches less top growth, the turf looks better longer between mowings. Less mowings are better for the environment and save you time and money over the growing season. CSI rye forms a very attractive, dense, and durable turf grass stand. Here, CSI rye is compared side by side with another perennial ryegrass marketed as recuperative, showing turf quality before and after mowing. But, the big difference is CSI rye's ability to spread via reproductive tillers. This characteristic is so unique, it has been granted U.S. patent protection. Another advantage of CSI rye is a lower recommended seeding rate. We can seed at 3 pounds per thousand square feet versus other recuperative ryes that suggest 7 pounds per thousand square feet and conventional perennial ryegrasses suggested at 9 pounds per thousand square feet. The lower seeding rate encourages CSI rye to spread. For a comparison, to seed a standard U.S. football field, which is approximately 57,600 square feet, you would need to use about 10 50-pound bags of regular perennial ryegrass. Using CSI rye, for the same coverage area, you would need less than four 50-pound bags, and CSI rye will repair turf damage over time, while a regular perennial ryegrass would need to be reseeded. Less seed, better coverage, lower cost, and the unique capacity of self-recovery. CSI rye, investigate for yourself and seed it to believe it.